Nigga brides in Atlanta Just to the lean in the family Credit cards in the scams Hitting the licks in the van Legacies, fam Wait and see, look like a fan All right, coming up next A UFC featherweight division fight Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and some differences in reach. Now for the official Ladies introductions, here is this This man. is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Columbus, Ohio, mystery. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my favorite. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. with the left hand and lands flush. Oh! 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 He got him. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Trying to kick the leg out. land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, straight right. Just out of the range with that right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Great punch landing with so much power. Nice one, two there. Unable to land with that punch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Just over two minutes, round one. You can't take many of those, you better check. Keep your hands up, use your footwork now, it's okay. Use Under two minutes now to go. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big ball to the punch lands, now he gets back to range. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Huge block there. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for now. Now connects with the right. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. 15 seconds to go. to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks Great in the fight. previous round, we'll see Great. if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under control. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way.
lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. It's a good right hand right there. Oh, misses with the jab. Beautifully timed and place kick there by Lee. Oh, big head kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you get one knee to the body. I'm done. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly Found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Punch over the top. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. How good is that right hand? Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice punch, Lance. He connects with a right. Beautiful head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Good punch. with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course. Oh! 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 I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Right hand upstairs! Two rounds in the books. Huh. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. 
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing eye kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, man, head kick lands. Oh, nice. Nice. Look at him chopping. Chopping with the good leg kick. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Plus, right hand is true. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Beautiful punch. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Changes his stance. Head kick looked like that one was blocked. Good stick. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Oh, nice elbow. Able to check that kick as well. Strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not compete on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Nice punch there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice kick there by Lee. Straight right, he misses. Punches blocked. Straight punch lands. And he switches his stance yet again. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Boom, straight left hand. Fifteen seconds. Work, guys. Come on. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh. 
goes to the body there. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Liver kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Good punch, Lance. Big head kick. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses there with the left. Big leg kick lands. What a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice defense there, huge block. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Switching stances here. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Punch there by Lee. Another shot lands upstairs. Lee's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection, it's blocked. Oh, big punch land. Oh, single collar tie here. 90 seconds now to go in this one. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Beautiful strike. Under a minute now to go in the round. That right hand is on point. 45 seconds remain in the round. 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind it. An uppercut landed. Oh, man. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Cable's inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big head kick lands. Big kick lands. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. It is the fifth and final round. And kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Head kick blocked. Yep. <laughs> Man, look at the force behind that leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big kick lands. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, a huge block there. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Under three minutes now to go round five. Oh! All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. There's no give on that leg kick. Two minutes now to go in this one. Blocks that strike. Nice leg kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Nice straight punch. Oh, that's a good right hand. Ooh, wee. Ooh, wee, what a right hand by this young man. Lands flush with that right hand. 
Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Wow. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. One minute to go in the fight. Now a kick to the body. Ooh, blocks the shot. 45 seconds remain in the round. That's a big strike right there. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Time winding down, final seconds of the fight. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. What a fight! The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins.